Uh, but let's see if we can get back to our correspondent, uh, Olu Phillips, uh, to give us uh, some more updates on the matter. Olu? Go ahead, Olu Phillips. Olu Phillips, can you hear me? Go ahead, tell us what, what's uh, the latest going on now. Oh, okay, well, as you can see uh, behind me, we have several ballot boxes. And if um, the cameraman can actually zoom in on one of them, you will see that we have those of House of Assembly, House of Representative, the governorship, and all the way through. So what that tells you is that today, people at this polling unit has, have also voted for House of Representative. Uh, invariably meant that uh, what happened last week, uh, last two weeks, and uh, there's a consideration again today for them to vote um, members into the House of Representatives, the governorship, and the House of Assembly. Well, as you can see, uh, sometime last week, uh, as of the time the, the, the voting and, 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 and registration was concerned, we had about 900 people who at, that, at the time when the ballot boxes were set on fire, um, had come to uh, be registered. But when we look through the, the number of people here who have come out today to cast their vote and exercise the franchise, uh, we have just less than 300. And, and, and this just tells you what may have happened. Earlier I spoke to a lady and who was also here last week and has summoned up a lot of courage to be here again today. Um, if, if you don't mind, can you come, come along? Um, so, so tell me again, uh, today, as against all of the fear, about coming out to vote today, why did you decide to come? Because um, if I don't vote, um, if I don't vote, um, I can't complain. I can't complain about any irregularity. My vote should count that I came out to vote today. And, and, and are you disappointed too that um, some of the people that came out last week, what number were you last week? Um, 357. And then we had um, a whole lot of people here last week. As on my last count last week, we had about 960 something people. But today, um, I'm afraid, um, two, two words um, voters apathy. Um, people have refused to come out of their homes to vote. Um, and it, it's very, 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 as in distressing that it took um, INEC like um, 20 years for them to um, forge um, trust with um, Nigerians. And um, <laughs> <laughs> just 2019, we've shattered the trust. So I, th I don't think Nigerians have an, um, any um, out of trust in INEC anymore. I'm sorry. All right, I must say thank you for talking to us. So, so Chamberlain, um, what, what, we, what we see here is that uh, people have uh, cast their vote. They, uh, they've done their accreditation. They've cast their vote. And they're just waiting for the counting process to begin. Um, it seems like everybody around here wants to wait to see and hear what the numbers will be from this polling unit. And like you well know, I mean, this polling unit has become a bed of news. Um, a lot of media houses coming to feast on it after uh, Charles TV talked talked about it um, some two weeks ago and followed up on a lot of stories about this. We've seen a um, couple of dispatches of security men, those from the RRS, um, members, um, security personnel from the Operation Python Dance, Egwe K3, uh, people from the 81D, we've also seen um, ordinary policemen from detachments around um, Okota Police Station and, 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 and nearby. Everybody just coming around to make sure that what happened some weeks back won't repeat itself again. It's not likely it's going to happen, uh, but the results are already beginning to show in the number of people that have turned out today to vote. Uh, well, the, the boxes are looking full, and there are no attempts at the boxes today. Not yet. We don't expect that to happen. Uh, but this is what it is. Um, uh, incidentally, when I spoke to some of the people here earlier too, they told me that the INEC officials arrived quite early. Uh, apparently, um, because of what happened, they had to arrive early so that voting and accreditation can commence. Uh, people are trickling in, but right now, uh, voting um, seems to have stopped because there isn't anybody trying to cast the vote. But obviously, um, from some hours from now, we'll be hearing the results from this polling unit. And we'll also be bringing you reports from other polling units within this place and feed you with those um, pictures. Chamberlain. All right, uh, Ola Phillips, uh, thank you very much indeed for your reporting. But the verdict continues in just a moment. Stay with us.